Years ago, Edward R. Murrow, who knew as much as anybody about the difference between good broadcasting and bad, told him backward, by which he meant back to the good things radio used to do. I don't think Hyman Brown, radio producer, was there that day. If he had been, he'd have stood up and cheered. Haywood Hale Brune on Hyman Brown and a bit of good old radio that survives. For many of us, modern radio is an uncritically accepted goulash of words and music. Its purpose is principally to keep the urgent sounds of reality at bay. And are rewarded with the answer to the age-old question, and then what happened? The CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... As far back as the art of storytelling goes, one of the most treasured examples of the narrative technique has been that of the ghost story. From a little Manhattan studio, which is the skyscraper equivalent of that cave where dramatic narration was born, Hyman Brown, producer, director, and devotee, keeps the last thread unrolling. Well, why not? Look, we can take care of ourselves if we have to. All right, Joe, you're on. You will not be sorry, young gentleman. A thousand and one Arabian nights are long over. But not Brown's fascination the with the magic of imagination. Oh, what's that? He's Coyote. Come on, let's go. You've been associated for a very long time with radio drama. Don't you think its day is over? Don't you want oh, pictures? Hardly, hardly. The pictures are right in your head, Woody. I make better pictures with your mind and your imagination than any camera can make with the actuality. What's important is that the words themselves take on a meaning which is not encumbered by faces or by backgrounds. The words paint the picture, and those words you hear. You listen to those words and create your own pictures. Well, I'll be. Where did he go? I don't know. He just vanished, disappeared into thin air. To make a prairie, said Emily Dickinson, you need one clover, one bee, and reverie. Reverie and imagination got a lot of exercise in the great days of radio drama, and skilled technicians stood ready with the bee, and soon they'll have the sound of clover. For 34 years, Jerry McCarty has been producing noises imaginable and unimaginable to drive home the points of radio dramas, many of them high browns. Since his work is the voice of the ambience, he must think like an actor even when he is playing a revolver, a rippling stream, or the approaching steps of Nemesis. Do you feel like an actor? Well, there are times when you have to guess at what the actor himself or the actress is going to, how long it's going to take to do a certain thing. So in essence, you do the silent acting with your feet or your hands. The horse will win. That's enough for me, Jerry. All right. Because you'll be busy. And I'll go into Then we come out of the music queue with the clop, 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 clop. Right. What time you got, Jimmy? Well, most terrifying, you've been the apparitions. That's right, John. That belong to those who died to violent death. Or none that natural. Now, the crack of thunder. The actor must understand that he's looking at words, but he can't read the words. He must take these words and make them come alive. And the radio actor uh, is just the most skillful oh, of, of like all the professions uh, that relate to entertainment uh, who can take printed uh, no, words no, Joe, and make afraid. them perform. They don't they sound no as if they're being read. That's the skill of a radio actor. Matter of true fact, it all happened 30 years ago. The horse is too, has too much presence. Go off a little more. Okay, 
Stand by. We'll do this all over again. And now, for our closing number, we will demonstrate how a cow outfit is brutally attacked on the Great Plains. You remember, the sound effects man used to be a member of Astra. He was a member of the Actors Union. When Radio Drama went into a decline in 59, all the sound effects men became engineers. They belonged to the engineering union. As a sound man, he had to be an actor. He had to be able to follow the actor to the telephone, pick the telephone up, follow him to the door, open the door, let the actor or actress walk through the door. All of this require tremendous talent and skill. We still have that. Sounds are stored these days as extensively as our thoughts and statistics. 4,000 cartridges have somewhere on them, if needed, the sound of a sneezing peacock or a snarling chipmunk. Eight years, McCarty has been opening the creaking door for two and a half million mystery theater fans. And Brown has been orchestrating what's behind it, aided by sounds no one has heard and only people of McCarty's experience could make up. Actors and writers, aided by the embellishments of assorted sounds, produce 260 hours a year. Which they hope in turn will produce tens of thousands of bitten fingernails. These need not be on the withered hands of the people who are waiting for the shadow to come growling out of their dome shaped radios, but on those of the young as well. Surely they too want to know what's behind the door. The theater of the mind is eternal. The little man who used to come into the marketplace and sit there and tell the story, that's still the same thing. It's the little boy climbing up on Daddy's lap and saying, Daddy, tell me a story. Essentially, I'm still doing that, Woody. But I have to give it the contemporary uh, electronic gimmickry, shall I call it, that makes it immediate now. And we're doing that. She hasn't missed a single shot. Hey, that woman is absolutely phenomenal. Jimmy, look at her now. She's turning herself around, galloping around the ring, sitting backwards on her horse. <laughs> and shooting at the target as her horse goes around at full speed. Bullseye every time. Oh, no, Jimmy, look what she's doing oh, now. Oh, oh, swinging herself under the belly of her horse, holding onto the saddle with one hand. Oh, her assistant is handing her a fresh rifle as she goes by. Yeah, she's pointing the rifle at the target. And wham, right into the bullseye again. Hey, hey, hey.